Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassandra from Craft to Believer After. And today's video is something a little different. Now, I was tagged by my very good friend Caroline over at For the Lover Crochet to show you my crochet craft cart. So there is a hashtag that Caroline created that we will be um, linking our videos to and uh, posting some photos of our craft carts. Um, but this is just to sort of give you the idea of what is actually going on on our craft cards and if there's some suggestions on how we can maybe organize our cards a little better because mine is an absolute mess currently I do know exactly what I've got on my card so if I will reorganize it that is a different question but for now I want to go ahead and show you guys what the area looks like that I use on a daily basis uh, to crochet. Now I'm going to insert a video clip right here just to show you what the actual area looks like. So I've got this lovely blue uh, recliner chair, very very comfortable for crocheting. My two crochet project bags that's next to me at all times. The yarn inside might differ but the bags they are always the same so I just exchange uh, whatever project I'm working on. Then I've got two lovely antique side little side tables or coffee tables that I inherited from my grandparents. Currently I occupy both of them uh, to uh, when I work. So the one always has my tablet on it, the other one always has some sort of a book or a pattern or something on it. You'll also see my Barbie, uh, my Barbie doll. Uh, the one that I'm making a dress for on the one table, but there you have it a general overview of what my craft area looks like Now you guys if you're anything like me. I love seeing the areas that other people work in. I love craft room tours. I love um, I Well, I really enjoy the videos that Pamela over at Pamela's Adoring Crochet puts out. Uh, she calls it Whip Caddy Wednesday, where people show what they are working on, what's on their craft cards. So I was really, really excited when Caroline suggested this tag. So what I'm going to do is show you the good, the bad and the ugly of my crochet craft card, where all the magic happens. What I've got on it, what I've got going, like I say, if you guys have any ideas, any suggestions, let me know how you organize your craft cards. I think this is something that will be very interesting because all of us have got some or other cart or table or little corner that we use for our crochet and crafting. So uh, let us know uh, down in the comments what do you use. If you want to send us some photos, that'll be fantastic. If you want to tag us on Instagram, do that as well. It is going to be exciting to see where we all do these magic crafting of ours in normal everyday life. All right, let's get cracking. Now, the first thing I want to show you, I am on the ground. I did have to move my very lovely chair out of the way uh, because I couldn't get my camera to uh, <laughs> focus properly on uh, the craft cart. Uh, so this is the second time I'm trying to make this video. I just, it was a miserable fail the first time. So I moved the chair, I'm on the ground. Uh, so let me show you what I've got going on in my little crafting space. Now the first thing I always, and you would have seen it in the little video clip that I showed, I've got two projects bags next to me. This one is a bag that I got from my friend Pamela. She sent this to me in Happy Mail a while back. And in it, I've currently got one project bag, which is my next uh, Free Pattern Friday that I'm working on. Then I've got another project bag in it <laughs> uh, with some baby snuggle yarn hanging out of it. This bag I actually made myself last year. It's just a little uh, drawstring bag. It also has actually a variety of yarns in it. So there's the baby snuggle, there's some uh, cotton, there's all sorts of bits and bobs. I think there's a little bit of, um, yep, yarn from my Crochet Society, the Confection DK. It's still yarn that I've got left from my advent calendar after making the blanket. So this project bag uh, stays in here as well. Then I've got just 
a little loose project project bag in here if there's anything else that I want to work on or keep separate and I've got this cute little small one which contains um, the yarns of a recently finished project uh, that I will show you in another video but this one I finished this week and this is just my absolute favorite rainbow cotton yarns that I normally work with so this is what is in this small one so this bag is always next to me but the yarns whoops the yarns are just exchanged based on what I'm working on the other bag that's next to me is this one it is the hobby uh, it was the kit that I bought for the uh, hobby no shades of gray the cardigan that I'm working on um, so every now and again when I've got time because it consists of a billion different <laughs> granny squares so I am just slowly chugging away on it um, I'm currently working on the diagonal uh, squares um, and every now and again I just pop out two or three um, and I have them in a little crochet society box on the other end of the room so that is the two bags that's sitting next to my crochet cart now let's get on to this bad boy now I almost again knocked off <laughs> this little container this one um, is a container that I got from Ikea now it doesn't go with a cart uh, it actually goes with those pin boards that you normally get it in it or the notions that I use on an almost daily basis now I need to get a different cart because the slightest bump and this thing goes flying and I've got just loads of small little things in it um, but let me show you the things that I work on on a daily basis the one thing or oh, actually two related things are these two magnetic holders um, now this one has got two needles on it uh, there you can see my camera <laughs> in the reflection this one has got two needles on it um, for thicker yarn so they are darning needles for thicker yarns this little container has two needles for very very thin yarns so at all times if I'm reaching depending on what I'm working with I know this is my thick needles this is my thin needles so they're always always next to me because I use them constantly uh, inside this one I actually have got some spares just sitting inside there then in this yellow little a pencil case holder that still came with me from South Africa there's just a bunch of pins I've got this um, what do you call it it's a um, row counter but I don't like this row counter this one I got in a crochet society box I really dislike using this one I don't like the turny thing it's difficult to turn uh, I use this row counter that I got for very very cheap from hobby uh, when I was buying some yarn at one stage I bought this and I love using this because you just press and the numbers change and uh, you can clear it I don't know I love this pink one so this one I just have in there because I've got it and I don't know where to go with it uh, then I've got a lovely lip balm <laughs> that was in uh, one of the hobby advent calendars one year and then just all sorts of random I've got pens and pencils and I've got this plastic <laughs> crochet hook which was the first very first crochet hook I owned it was a set of three plastic ones in different sizes now these days I use it for stuffing together with this pen that no longer works I've had it for years and years so these two things believe it or not are my stuffing tools I love it then I've got my little <laughs> uh, well if you can see it there we go a unicorn gel pen absolutely lovely to write with I've got some uh, pencils and just a random green pen that I make notes with I will show you just now my little notebook so in here just some random bits and bobs that I use on a daily basis and this is why it's clipped to the front 
of my cart although as I say the slightest bump and this thing goes flying and then I've got to look for all of these small things all over the floor so I will eventually have to look for a better solution also on the top is like these stacks <laughs> of little containers now apart from this one this one contains the plastic um, stitch markers which I absolutely love I use loads of them I've got them everywhere in different bags upstairs downstairs I love these plastic uh, stitch markers they're my favorite then I've got just bunches like these are just four different containers filled with safety eyes small ones one with different sizes the kawaii eyes which i really enjoy using this one is almost empty so i really should just move these few eyes into one of the other containers but honestly if i've got five minutes to spare it's not going to be to sort out safety eyes it is going to be <laughs> used to crochet also i've got this little container another crochet society gift in it hmm yet more safety eyes friends i use tons and tons and tons of safety eyes so i've got these ones are all my bigger safety eyes with the glitter backs and i've got some packets of uh, buttons red and black buttons they actually come from my snowman kit that i bought off amazon last year then some christmas ribbon why do i have this christmas ribbon still sitting here i don't have any idea but that is on there then i've got these crochet threads oops now there's a needle stuck to it i've got these crochet threads um, because i am <laughs> at an extremely slow pace working on a barbie doll dress so this is part of the skirt or the start of the skirt and maybe if i can stretch and uh, reach over and get my barbie doll my little model she already has a part of the top of uh, the dress that i'm making so any of you who have been with me for a little while you know that i've been collecting those vintage barbie doll dress patterns so i did actually make a start um, but it is slow going you guys it is very very slow going but anyway so this is my crochet thread rainbow lace um, lace weight thread in the colors that i'm making this cute girl's dress with uh, let me just put this on the side what else have i got in here all right <laughs> this cute little basket i crocheted using um, bungee mini that you can also buy from um, hobby it's a fantastic yarn it's so much easier to work with than a normal ribbon or a normal t-shirt yarn i really really like making baskets with it i've actually got some uh, of this ribbon i bought some more because i wanted to make some more baskets and i bought these exact same colors the pink and the greenish teal color in here i've got <laughs> my little uh swing and my little Kristoff um, Tum Tums. Now, you know, if you've also been with me for a tiny while, that I opened those mystery Tum Tum bags a uh, while back, and I am still planning to crochet these two. So they are sitting on my cart for inspiration because sometime very soon I will be crocheting a little. Tum Tums of Swin and Kristoff. Also in here, I've got these sticky notes. They are fantastic. I use them often when I work from my books. And then I've got a little peppermint tin with my uh, the pins that I use. Now, these pins are fantastic. I bought them still in South Africa. They've got a nice... Um, they're a very nice length and they've got a bigger head so they don't disappear into your project so this is also what's on top and then rounding off the top shelf a bunch of crochet hooks now this one um, is from 
Crochet Society boxes. So anyone who's been subscribed ever to Crochet Society, you will recognize the hooks. I very, very rarely use these hooks, to be honest. Um, I have, but not often. So they are here more for aesthetic purposes. So I really like these hooks, but this container, it just gathers a ton of dust. So I don't know if you can see it, but this thing is very, very dusty. Now the hooks that I actually use on a daily basis, or more regularly, are <laughs> in this little cup. Now this is just some of my safety eye backs, can you believe it? And then I've got this thick, it's a 10 millimeter uh, crochet hook. This is what I use when I work with the um, bungee mini to make those baskets a really, really comfortable hook. Then I've got this little container, again a Crochet Society uh, little cup and in it are the cheapies that I use on a regular basis. These still come from South Africa. This is my favorite hook. It's a 2.5 millimeter and I've got loads of them. I brought the whole pack with me from South Africa. So these cheap little, I don't know even what they are, these hooks. So they are like I've got all the sizes in them. Um, they are the hooks that I use on a daily basis. So they are here on the top shelf. And that is just the top shelf, you guys. So let's move on to the second shelf and see what's on here. Again, <laughs> safety eyes. Now, honestly, how many safety eyes do one person need? The answer is a million. Because I just, I use them very, very often because I'm mainly an omigurumi maker. In this bag, now honestly, I don't know why I keep this bag down here. This contains, I don't know, things I'm working on, things I'm thinking of. Um, a while back, I tried to um, design a pattern for a no-sew cat. So this cat is almost no-sew, but uh, the tail is separate. Now I didn't like how the face turned out, so I never even completed this pattern. But I think I should give it a little bit of more uh, attention. But then after I did that one, I thought maybe in the same sort of vein as my squish buddy and my squish bunny that I did or that I've got patterns for, I wanted to do squish cat, but I made him in a thinner yarn just to test the pattern. So this is squish cat that hopefully I will have a pattern for really soon. He should actually be made in a nice um, blanket yarn, just like my squish buddies. So I think he is rather cute. Uh, him, I really like. And then I've got half an Amaneko cat. <laughs> That's it's all I've got. Now why I didn't finish him, because he's actually so close to being finished, I probably will finish him. So half an Amaneko cat. So my cats, live in this little bag with a bear on it. So I need to think what I want to do with this bag of projects, do something with it. Then the two books that I'm currently busy with. Now, uh, this is one of my new uh, crochet books. I think I may have shown it in a previous video, but I have done a project from this book. So I will show you in a next video. I really enjoyed making the project from this book. This is fantastic. And then this cute uh, crochet creations. I'm using this book because I'm busy with the last bunny pattern that Jessica, my daughter, designed for me. She designed the four bunnies based on the seasons. We've only got the spring bunny left to do, um, but I sort of borrow body part patterns <laughs> when I have to create my own uh, toy. So I don't design a toy necessarily from the start. There's some lovely animal bodies in this book. So I am borrowing um, some of the base bodies to create my last bunny that I'm doing as a mini collab with my daughter, Jessica. Then, you guys, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. These are yet more safety eyes. Now this container, just on a little side note, um, 
you can get these containers everywhere. Uh, they're really, really cheap. But my containers, believe it or not, I got from a fishing shop. So anyone who's got husbands, boyfriends, partners, anyone, uh, maybe some of you do fishing on the side, I'm not sure, but shops that sell fishing gear has got the best variety of containers because people who do fishing they need to have little containers to store their lures and their baits and their hooks and so I will do also in the future a video to show you the fantastic um, containers and storage that I purchased from a fishing shop so this one was part of a bag that I bought that contained several of these um, little plastic cases. But anyway, you can buy them cheap from, I don't know, most stores sell them. Then I've got this from also my Bella Coco bags. This is Magnetic Crochet Buddy, but I'm using that Magnetic Buddy. But inside here, I've got little, uh, like a little selection of charms that I use to sometimes embellish uh, my toys, so just little small different variety bags of charms. So this whole little baggie contains charms. Then I've got this cute project bag that I've got um, in a crochet kit that I purchased a while back, a year or two ago now. Um, and all it contains are little booklets from crochet kits. The majority of them are actually the Bella Coco, or the Crochet Society, not the Bella Coco, the Crochet Society little magazines that you get. So they are all stored in this little zipper bag. Then I've got a little notebook because I am trying to keep better notes of my projects. So from the beginning of the year, uh, every project that I make I write the name of the project where I got the pattern, the yarn I'm using, and the hook size. So I'm currently on project number 54, which is my next free pattern Friday. Then this little book, another little notebook. This one is if I have an idea for a pattern. Then I write down sort of a, just a base or a general uh, pattern down so if I want to do arms just so that I can have both arms the same so this little book contains all sorts of ideas for patterns this little book which came from South Africa it's the same um, it has <laughs> all sorts of random so this one is Pip the mushroom fairy that I did years ago uh, so I might write that one up because it was a, a very cute fairy that I made uh, this bag I got from my uh, brother and sister-in-law one year for Christmas. This just contains, honestly, all sorts of <laughs> random, I mean, there's false eyelashes, there's knitting needles. Now, I don't knit, but I used these ones when I did my uh, Omigurumi mod project. So there's just random, like little, I don't know why I didn't throw this one out. It's a little overalls for a toy uh, that didn't fit after I made it. A little random scarf. So all sorts of, I don't know, random stuff, you guys. Buttons, little Christmas buttons. So this thing, I really actually need to sort this out. Uh, because it's taking up quite a lot of space. And it's not for anything that I use. Um, then I've got... This is little jump rings if I add um, keychains to any of my toys. And this little yarn tidies bag, another crochet society. And this one has got two measuring tapes. I very rarely use measuring tapes. And then it's got these little yarn tidies in it. All right. Now, on the rest of it is just <laughs> the, start, the start of a bear that I did months ago and I just didn't like the look of the face so he is lying there for me to decide if I want to try and continue with the pattern um, and then just some I don't know random bits and bobs here is the pattern for those baskets 
that I got from Hobby. So this is a free pattern on the Hobby website using the bungee mini. Really nice um, baskets to make. My bottom shelf is actually the one I also use a lot. It has on it two Crochet Society boxes. And this contains the yarn I use the absolute most. The one box contains my lighter pastel -y colors of Rainbow Cotton 84. So the whole box is my lighter colors of Rainbow Cotton 84. And the second box contains <laughs> all the darker color colors of the Rainbow Cotton 84. Then across the room, because there's no more space uh, with me, I've got a third box. A crochet society box which has all my neutrals so my browns grays black white and last but not least a bag of stuffing I buy these 300 gram bags uh, of stuffing they fit perfectly on the bottom shelf of my cart um, and I use a ton of stuffing as anyone who makes omigurumi you will know we go through a literal ton of stuffing every year so this is my second to last bag i very soon will have to reorder more stuffing all right you guys that is it this is my cart with all of the randomness that's on it but for the most part i know what everything is on the cart i know where everything is and i'm worried that if i now start massively organizing that i'm going to start looking for my green sparkly eyes or my specific eye backing or my specific crochet hook size so i will have to decide if indeed i will organize this card any better i might i think i need to do a little trip to ikea again they do have some fantastic storage solutions uh, the one thing I've got, I've still got on the one side another little container that I just hook onto the side. This one just contains um, a little bottle of water if I do any blocking of squares. And I've got super glue and some snips. So this just also sort of hangs on the side of my cart. Alright you guys, that's it. I hope this was interesting for you to see. I really look forward to seeing more videos of people and their cards. Uh, I know this is a tag video, but anyone who doesn't have a channel, please, we would still love to see photos of your cards. Um, I know quite a few people have been tagged already. If I have to tag, maybe Bonnie from Strawberry Bonnie Crochets. Um, Jasmine, my friend Jasmine from the Proud Protea. Abby. Blue Heart Crochet. Um, if you guys want to join, please do. It would be fantastic to see your crafting areas or your crochet craft cart. Look out for the tags. Um, and as I said, anyone who does not have a channel, please, we would still like to see what your craft cart, your crochet craft cart looks like. We are all interested in what each other does i know i am i love love seeing where other people work what they have around them what they love using what they don't love using um so pop some comments down below let me know your favorite storage solu solution on your craft cart all right friends that's it for this week i will see you very soon uh, in another video, I've got some cute projects to share with you uh, this upcoming week. So keep an eye out for the next video. And until I see you guys again, stay safe and stay crafty.